Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planting the cucumbers. I finally got some soil and my tests are finished and we have like that and so I'm going to be planting um, cucumbers in these containers. So I have some containers filled up and some is already planted like that one and the, uh, and the one that is on the corner there. So we're going to plant six more cucumbers and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six plants but in one pot I have like two plants in just one of them. So I'm going to try to separate them. If I can't I will just plant both of them in the same pot. <coughs> Sorry, they, they grow anyway. <coughs> so to make this soil, even if it's a new pack, I will put some, um, you know, green materials so that it can compose and make some nutrients for the plant when it grows. So I will um, put some brown and green materials uh, after I put some little bits of soil like here, then I will put those materials and I can, uh, you can plant, um, let me just show you, you can plant cucumbers deep because cucumbers can grow roots all over from their stem. So let me just just a perfect cucumber. Like that is some green, yellow leaves, but that's because that hasn't got any soil. So I'm going to just plant them. You can plant them deep enough, as you can see. Let, let me just show you. As you can see, they can grow roots. So I'm going to plant like so deep. Take this leaf off and then plant it. So let me just and um, bring some scissors so that I can open the pack. And I have some green materials here that I'm going to put in here. So I've opened the packet and then I'm going to put some soil. Put in some soil. I'm going to show you, show you in one pot what I'm doing. So I put some soil in here, as you can see. So now I'm going to put some brown materials and some green materials and for the green materials I always have a bucket with very much green materials because we use a lot of things like that in our kitchen so like that just put some green materials like the banana peels things like that I think that's enough and then, to finish off, I always put some egg cotton because egg cotton is like brown materials, you know. You need to have brown materials and you need to have balance. That's the biggest thing you need to do. Like that. I'm going to just show you with one and then I'm going to speed up the rest of the process. Like just that and let's press it gently and as the plant grows the roots can take up nutrients from the um, green materials that will decompose so now I'm going to put some more soil in it I have filled this pot with soil and some green materials for nutrients so let me just bring one of my plants and take it out and show you so this is the plant. Just gently. You know, cucumbers don't like to be transplanted, but it's really root bounded as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I will just uh, make a deep hole in it. Take out some soil because the pot on the side. And then you need to just put the plant in, cover it more soil. And 
more so more so and gently press down it a cucumber plants are easy to plant you can direct sow as well right now if you haven't sown already um, that's because um, cucumbers don't like to be transplanted too much so I've just grown them in this pot so them is this pot so I could have just transplanted just once not several times so like that I have planted one of my cucumbers so now it will climb let me just show you how I will do that take the plant and the plant has all the tendrils that will hold on the um, trellis so just weave it in and out if you have a trellis like that and then just carefully do this and there you have it and that cucumber will now climb and be a beautiful plant and produce uh, hopefully some fruits and sorry what I say fruits some cucumbers from for me so now I'm going to speed up the process and I plant the rest of the cucumbers so I planted all these cucumbers as you can see I divided both of them and I left with three cucumbers that are not healthy so I'm going to plant them outside and see what happens but these are the healthy ones but the leaves aren't looking so great right now but they will grow because I've now now they have got room for the roots so I had the same process with every cucumbers some greens and some brown materials and then now I'm going to water it so that they don't have a transplant shock I made a really huge mess down here I don't want to show you but here are my eight cucumbers so every one of them is going to climb up and if I need more I can have more trellis as well but for now I planted these cucumbers looking really pretty I may have a stake here now and a stake on this side as well but it's looking great now and now I'm going to plant some peppers pepper plants um, I just may plant the bell peppers not the chili plants so I'm going to plant just the bell peppers today so I've done the messy part which was to fill up the bottles with soil this is one gallon because that's five liters um, this is one gallon over one gallon container and it's a deep because you know pepper plants like deep roots they have really deep roots so I'm going to just make hole and plant one and one in these pots so I filled 10 of them because I have 10 plants so let me show you what my plants looks like these are the pepper plants aren't they beautiful they grown really much and I even pinched them all of them so that they can send some side shoots so now I'm going to gently Ooh, look at the roots I gently took it out and look at the roots now that's incredible so I may just untied roots like that so that they can find a way but they they will anyway find a way you, you can plant it deep enough because pepper plant can be planted really deep if they still have the green stem but if they form the brown stem then you may not plant it really deep so I'm going to make a hole and put it down and there you go planted my pepper so they I'm going to have it inside my greenhouse so I I don't think staking is um, essential because of there's no wind inside the greenhouse but uh, if the fruit is heavy or the vegetable of the bell pepper is heavy then I may have some staking system but for now I'm going to just plant it without any steak and then water it really well afterwards so just test one that's one plant 
and let's just plant the other ones and I'm going to have the camera on speed. So I finished planting, this is my cucumber plant which I planted first, I'm going to water all of them so don't worry. And you have to water afterwards because or else the plant would get transplant shock, even that's a cucumber there, looking really pretty, and that's a new pot, new one, there are cucumbers everywhere, I have three left which I didn't plant, and I have another one. Another of you cut the bad leaves. I have a cutting, and then I have another one. I think one of them had like big cucumbers. Now yeah, that's the that's one. Like, as you can see, this one. I hope they will grow. I think that's the maximum height because 50 centimeter on the packet when I bought it, and that's the. Sixth one, that's another one. The, those two were in one pot, and I have to divide them. So I think I broke some roots, but that's okay. Hopefully, they will recover. I have still some cucumbers plant left, so if something happens with them, I can still plant the other one. So here are the one I also planted a long time ago, growing nicely. It does thin stem, but it has many side shoots so these are the pepper plants so all of these are bell pepper plants which I grew from seeds grocery brought so they needed a bigger pot that's the biggest one looking really pretty and I had three left so I planted it around the kiwi plant so that's it actually so these are my four Anaheim chilies and I have six um, what's it called? Hungar yellow wax Hungarian chili, which I have upstairs in the um, corridor because I wanted them to grow a little bit faster. They wanted to give a little bit boost so that they become bigger because that one was inside just that plant and that's really huge now. So hopefully they will produce some vegetables and peppers, bell peppers and cucumbers for me this year. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later in the next video. Bye!